Uh, what's going on today? I'm back with a new tutorial for you guys. But before we start, make sure I hit the like button and we're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. So if you guys could all sub if this helps you out in the sliders, just make sure you hit the like button, sub, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video. I upload, I upload very consistently. I'll say like two to three times a week. So yeah, just have your notifications on just in case I upload. So you just your first. But today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get no input delay on controller. This works on PC, console, and whatever. But all the PC only tips, I'm going to put those towards the end of the video just so I can get everybody. So like the tips that I do in the beginning are both doable for PC and console. So I'm going to just do those first. So everybody can just like you should be on the game while I'm doing this. So while I'm explaining it to you, be on your game. So everybody just turn on your game, turn on your PC, turn on your console, whatever. Just do it right now and just listen and do what I say while you're watching the video. Okay. So first, what you want to do, go to your settings, right? First of all, off the bat, off the bat, if you don't have a map like this, if you don't have a map like this, honestly, get one. It's called the grid map. It's really it has no no delay at all. It's really easy. I have a couple spawn pads and a and a little locker thing so I can change my skin. Literally nothing. All right, so that's that's one obviously. So come to your settings right here, and you want to come over here. Let me show you guys. I just don't know why my frame rate is at <laughs> is at sixty frames. I'm so confused. Anyways, I'm on two forty, but let's come down here. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna just explain every setting so you guys know whether to turn it on or off. So, based on what your device is, whatever you're playing on, based on what the setting is, you can apply that to yours. Like, everyone's different. So, if you feel like one thing should be on, then have it on. If you feel like it should be off, turn it off. Okay. So, I don't play with any uh, color color blinds. It just an, it's annoying. It fucks up your eyes. So I don't do it. Um. 3D resolution, I have that on 100 because there's nothing wrong with my, my PC, it runs perfectly. But yeah, I have that on. View distance is near. Textures on low, this is the minimum input delay. So you just want to have everything on low, basically. Having on like epic settings is really going to mess up your FPS. And the, the lower your FPS, the more delay there is. So you want to have high FPS, nice and high. So you want to put everything on low, okay? And if you're on console, there is a setting on this tab that says motion blur. If you're on performance mode, you can't use motion blur, so it's not here. But once you do see it, console players turn it off. You don't need it. It messes up your game and it makes your input delay higher. Okay, so you want to turn that off. Second, come to this tab right here. And come all the way down until you see replays. Turn all of these off. I'm telling you. It's just something recording in the background and who needs that consoles you can already you can already clip your gameplay perfectly as well as pc geforce in the video all that clipping softwares you don't need replays unless you're doing some cinematic editing video if you're doing that good for you you could just leave it on but if you're playing make sure these are off it is no reason these should be on there's just extra delay for no reason so turn those off all of them off also one more thing for both if you're on controller Edit on release is kind of like a faster way to edit if you don't want to hit that confirm button every time you edit. So instead of clicking three buttons to edit, you just click two and you can just spam it and it makes it faster. But if you already mastered double edit binds, which is having confirm edit or release off, then you should be good. You don't you don't have to do anything. You're, you're chilling. All right. So go to this next one. This I like to do this sometimes. It's called target info. Now, let me show you what target info is. So when you're on target info, Instead of like having all this stuff on your screen when you place builds or like material rotate build when you go to When you go oh also who also hates this menu the menu is so bad But anyways, you go here go to target info turn it off and it disappears and it removes all delay But only downfall of this is if you're in a real game and you take someone's wall How, how are you gonna know that you took their wall? It's either you try to edit it and it works or you're just out of luck and it's their wall and you die but like it's really i will only do this in creative if i'm like going if i have like a clip bot or if i'm like one if i'm like 1v1 in pg i would have this on just to like to have the feel of it i will only do this in like pg clips i'm not gonna lie so pg is like 1v1 in like build fight that's the only way i would have it on but i don't do that so i would just have it off 
but it is one way to reduce your input delay so i'm gonna turn that back on because i want it okay now here right here edit hold time if you are on high ping i would recommend putting this all the way up all the way up it's something about having high ping if you keep clicking if you keep clicking your edit button it's not going to make you edit fast on high ping it's going to really mess you up so just you really want to slow down you really want to slow down and like perfect your edits make sure you don't miss an edit it's not about how fast you get it it's about hitting the edits and not messing up so if you hit the edits you want to be moving but if you're messing up because you keep clicking the edit button it's going to like you just keep clicking it's going to keep messing up so have this all the way up if you're on low ping definitely have this all the way down because as you know, edit hold time, the longer you hold it, the longer the edit's going to feel. So if you have it all the way down, you only have to click the edit button for it to go through instead of just holding it for like two seconds for it to edit. So you want to have that on. <clears throat> also, come down here to foot controller. Uh, this really makes you faster when you're in edit mode. So turn it on and put the controller max auto all the way to I, I usually play around with it on 50 and 100 so if I'm feeling like stiff on zero I'll put it to 50 if I'm feeling stiff on 50 I'll put it to 100 I really play around with it but it makes your your editing mode feel faster so the higher you have it the faster you're gonna feel when you're editing okay so play with that see how it feels everyone's different you might not like it you might you might end up liking it so we'll just see just test it out all right, and my last tip for both console and PC, come down here and what you wanna do is go, you wanna have a switch mode slash edit bind and what it is is right here. So when you're on your binds, go to an unbound bind. So if look for anything that says unbound, so it can be down on the D-pad or uh, whatever this is, I don't know what this is, but and on PS4, this will be touchpad. So let's put it right here. So go here, click it, go all the way down and then you would click on switch mode slash edit all right and since i did that i did it right here i clicked it and press switch mode slash edit so once you do that you want to save it and how you know that you did it is when you place a build it would have that that unbound bind it's not your edit button but it's that unbound bind that you clicked and it's going to have a little circle around it that says edit all right so that's how you know you did it and trust me controller players this is like the best thing if you don't have it on and you actually do turn it on it will feel so much better and you're going to notice the difference you're not it's going to be harder to mess up no input delay is going to be a lot easier trust me and that is the last for the console and pc the next ones are just going to be pc only because you can't actually do them on console hopefully they change them sometime but actually the last tip i do have for controller uh for console players is play with a wired controller meaning like have a usb connected to your controller also connected to your playstation also for pc it works for that too i also use a wire controller so just plug in your controller make sure it has a wire connection rather than bluetooth bluetooth is wireless and it's just really the connection of wireless is just way worse than a wire connection it goes straight from it goes straight from your controller to your console and back and forth and vice versa it's really good so you want to have that and make sure you are using a lan cable if you're not using a lan cable your ping is going to be higher and lower ping is so much better trust me you want to have a wired controller connection and you want to be on a LAN cable big difference than wireless on both trust me all right now these are the PC only tips so you want to come on to your settings right here your binds and Xbox when it says controller platform Xbox is the best one it has the least input delay it used to be generic but generic is honestly cheeks now it's buns so you don't want to use that you want to use Xbox one trust me it is so much better the only reason it was on generic is because when i load into my game it like auto it auto switches to generic by default i don't know why so every time i get on i have to go here and change it and it's really annoying but yeah make sure you're on xbox and that is so good i'm telling you but the the next pc uh tips are actually on the pc not the game fortnite itself so we're going to actually close fortnite for now all right we're going to close fortnite all right and next what you want to do is come to your come to your windows you want to on your keyboard press your windows button press your windows button and press r and it's going to pop up something on the bottom left of your screen right here and you want to press percent you want to type percent temp 
percent right there so you want to do that click OK and what it's gonna do is show you a bunch of folders that you just don't need okay so you want to scroll all the way down it's not gonna ruin anything on your computer you don't need any of this at all but I will stay with me don't don't skip the video you want to stay with me watch the full video okay you want to go to the bottom and you want to scroll all the way up highlight everything and you want to delete it I already did it so I'm not gonna de delete anything but trust me these files that I have I need them okay I need them so let me show you how you know what you need and what you don't you highlight them you press delete hold on I didn't delete it hold on go back to the temp folder go here it might not let me do it I do need all of, like all of this left click and press delete now it's going to show something up okay and it's going to say you'll need to provide administrator permission to delete this folder you don't need this okay you want to do you want to do do this for all items and then you want to press skip because you need these files your, your computer obviously has something that it still needs from this from these files so like they're still active they're still running so you want to press skip okay you want to press skip and do that for all items that it's talking about so everyone this action can't be completed because file is open in google chrome meaning i'm using this file as we speak so i have some tabs open that requires this file to be open so you want to actually do this for all items so instead of it like just pressing skip it's going to keep it's going to keep showing you files that you need so instead of doing all that everyone that is talking about you want to do do for current items and then you want to skip all of them and then it deletes all the files that you don't need and it's going to keep the ones that you do need okay so boom these are all the files that i need so it didn't delete anything because i already did it like a couple <clears throat> a couple minutes ago sorry and yeah very easy okay so the next thing you want to do is go do the same thing so press your windows key and press r instead of instead of uh percent temp you want to do percent local app data like that press ok and it's going to take you here you want to go all the way to where it says fortnite game you just find that i don't know where it's at yet but i will find it eventually right here fortnite game double click that go to save double click that you want to go to config then you go to windows client and you want to go to game user settings don't do anything yet you want to left click it and you want to go to properties okay make sure read only is off okay click that press apply and okay double click it now it's going to bring you to this confusing file you're not going to know what it is but you want to look you want to actually look for something here and it's going to be like fps or something like that i actually forgot look frame limit scroll down until you see frame limit okay and when you're on your monitor right whatever monitor you have the one you play on so if you have a 240 hertz you want to do it three lower than your actual fps so if i was on 144 i'll be on 141 if i'm on 240 i'll be on 237 so mine says 237 because i already did it but before it was on 240 all you got to do is go and put 237 or if you're on 144 141 if you're on 75 frames then go on 73 or 72 whatever we uh do that and you want to press file and then you want to do save and then you want to exit and before you exit everything make sure you right click again go to properties and make sure you put on read only again apply okay and then exit last but not least you want to go down to your your windows press settings and then you want to go to gaming and where you game you have three tabs right here very important all of these are very important and since before i said early in the video i told you guys that you have to uh not have to everyone has their own clipping softwares right and if you're one of those people who clip on xbox game bar please find a different software there's a lot of one if you don't have nvidia there's a lot other ones you can do even obs you can do metal you can do a lot of things right amd software there's a whole bunch of things go to xbox game bar and just turn it completely off this right here has the most input delay that i've ever 
experience okay having its own makes your game feel so delayed it's like a whole whole software just running for no reason you're not clipping in it you're not using it it's on for no reason and what you really want to do is turn that off you need to turn that off okay after you do that captures is going to be completely useless so not only one software is running in the back but two different tabs are just running in the back for no reason so once you do xbox game bar come to captures and since you don't have xbox game bar on there's no need to have this on so you want to turn off everything here everything here make sure everything is off okay and once you do that make sure your game mode is on and that is it everything that i just did should help your game feel a lot smoother no delay no nothing just very smooth and consistent and if this vid helped at all if there's some tips that you didn't know before this video started make sure you hit the like button also we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers so if you guys could just hit the sub button and turn on notifications i would really appreciate that leave a comment on what you guys want me to do a tutorial on next and i got you guys but yeah i'm out